Okay, lesson 86, division of polynomials. This is a rather difficult lesson, so I expect to have you not to be able to get it the first time, but in a couple weeks it'll probably become easy for you. So, you can do this video so you can always look back at the video on how to do the problems. Division of polynomials. So, the first one we're going to do is an easy one. It's dividing a trinomial. Remember, if it has three parts, it's called a trinomial. So this is a trinomial. I'm just reviewing terminology here. Trinomial. Trinomial by a monomial. Whenever you divide by a monomial, all you do is divide each of the parts of the trinomial, so each term of the trinomial by the monomial. So this, this starts out really easy. 3x cubed over x plus 7x squared over x minus x over x. And now you have just three little problems to do. The x, 1x, you subtract the exponent, so you get 3x squared. Or you can think of it as crossing out one of the x's. Plus 7x. Anything over itself is just 1. So that's how you do the first one. So you should feel pretty good about that one. Let's try another one of those. Same thing. We're going to divide a trinomial by a monomial. So you would just take each part and divide it by 4x to the 4th. I imagine you can do these in your head. 8x to the 8th divided by 4x to the 4th plus 4x to the 6th over 4x to the 4th. 4 goes into 12 three times. We subtract the exponents and get x to the 8th. 4 goes into 8 two times, so it's 2, subtract our exponents to the 4th, and the 4's cross out here, and we just get x squared. And that's all there is um, for dividing a trinomial by a monomial. You could even do a four-term polynomial by a monomial, you do it the same way. Or a binomial by a monomial, you do the same thing. Now, here's where we're going to run into some trouble. We are going to divide, this is a four-term polynomial, by a binomial. Now, do you remember the days when you did long division? So, I'm going to do a long division problem real quick for you, and we'll come back to this. Let's pop over here. So, say I had 234 divided by 4. Let's make it easier. Let's just make it 2. Remember how we did this? We would say 2 goes into 2 one time, and then we'd say 1 times 2 is 2. And then we would subtract, and we get 0, and we bring down, so we get a 3. Same thing, we say 2 goes into 3 one time, 1 times 2 is 2, subtract, and bring down the 4. And you would keep on going. 2 goes into 14 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14. Until there's no more numbers to bring down. Unless, of course, there's a decimal point and you add zeros. So we're going to do the same thing, only we're going to do it with polynomials. So keep this problem right here in mind. And let's jump over here and go back to our polynomials. First thing we want to do is we want to set it up like that last problem. We need to set up our division bar like this. When you put this number, divide this by this, this is our dividend, this is our divisor. You want to put it in order from highest exponent to no exponent. So let's do that first. 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 50. So the first step is you want to rearrange and put it in the right order. You're going to do the same thing with your binomial. You're going to put the x first and then the minus 3. Okay, watch closely how we do this. First thing you want to do is say what, you kind of forget about this negative 3 for right now, just forget about it. You say what times x gives me something I can subtract from 3x cubed. Well, we need a 3, because 3 times x would give us 3x, 3x, and then we could do an x squared, 
And you can see 3x squared times x gives us 3x cubed. So you're saying what times x gives me 3x cubed? You want to work that out exactly. What times x gives me 3x cubed? Well, 3x squared times x gives us 3x cubed. So you take this times this, and here's the tricky part. You figure this, you figure this number out here by using the first term, and then the second term just gets multiplied by the 3x squared. It just kind of comes along for the ride. So we take 3x squared times minus 3, and we get minus 9x. Now we're going to subtract, and this is the way I do it, and it's foolproof, and I hope you guys adopt this. We're going to subtract these, so subtracting is the same thing as changing the signs and then adding. You hear me say this over and over, probably in your sleep, change your signs and add. So I changed my signs on both of these, and now I'm going to add. This should always be zero. If it's not zero, you didn't choose the right number up here. Now we're going to add and we're going to get 7x squared. And just like in your long division that you learned in, in fourth grade, you bring down your 5x in your next term. And we start all over again. This time we say what times x gives me 7x squared? Well, 7x times x gives me 7x squared. So I'm going to take and I'm going to take 7x times this first number and we're going to get 7x squared. And then, the tricky part, we're going to take 7x times the second number, and you're going to get negative 21x. We're going to change our signs. We circle them so that we remember we changed it. If you don't circle it, you forget whether you changed it or not. And you get complicated. We change our signs and add, so we get 26x. And finally, one more to bring down. After you bring down the last one, and you um, figure out the number on the top, you're done. So what times x gives me 26x? So we're going to get, it's going to be plus, and we're going to get 26, 26 times x gives me 20x squared. So you notice we don't use this negative 3 to determine what numbers go up here. We only use the x. Now we take 26 times x and we get 26x. 26 times minus 3 gives us um, see if I need my calculator here um, negative 78 And we do, we change our signs and add one final time. Change our signs and add. And we're going to get, we're going to add these, so we're going to get 128 is our remainder. So the way you write your answer is it's what's up here. So it's 3x squared plus 7x plus 26 plus 128 over the divisor x minus 3. So this is your final answer. If I weren't so messy up here, I would just leave this up here and write 128 over x minus 3. You don't have to recopy it. You can just put your remainder up there. Okay, if you didn't get it, stay tuned. We're going to keep going. We have a bunch of these to do. This is a super long video. Alright, divide. First thing you do is put it in the division thing under the division bar, so you get 2x cubed, put it in order, minus x squared, minus x plus 4. Put your divisor in order, x minus 2. And here we go. What times x gives me 2x cubed? So you're thinking that in your head? What times x gives me 2x cubed? That would be 2x squared. Now we multiply both of these by 2x squared. So we get 2x cubed, and now we take our 2x squared times a negative 2, and we get negative 4x squared. We change our signs, circle them when you change them, and add, so we get 3x squared. Once you get these, these problems are very enjoyable. Once you get them, that is. <coughs> so we bring down, 
r negative x and start all over again. What times x gives me 3x squared? That's going to be plus 3x, because 3x times x equals 3x squared. But don't forget that negative 2 there. 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. Change your signs and add. You get 5x. Bring down your 4. Do the same thing. This is just repeat, repeat, repeat. What times x gives me 5x? I'm going to be plus 5. 5 times x is 5x. Five, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Change your signs and add, and you get 14 as a remainder. So up here you just say plus 14 over x minus 2 is your answer. I have so many of these problems. Um, why don't you try this one by yourself, turn off the video, and try it, just push pause and try it yourself, and then turn it back on in a second. Okay, hopefully you tried it, and you just didn't sneak. If you sneaked and didn't try it, pause it and try it, because that's the only way you're going to find out whether you can do it or not. So, we make our division bar, we put 3x squared minus 2x plus 5, has to be in order. Put this binomial in order, x minus 3. What times x gives you 3x squared? That would be 3x. x times x is 3x squared. 3x times minus 3 is minus 9x. Change your signs and add. Get 7x plus 5. What times x gives you 7x? That would be plus 7. 7 times x is 7x. 7 times minus 3 is minus 21. Change your signs and add. You get 26. And that's all there is because that was a trinomial. It doesn't have a lot of numbers, fortunately. So, I'm just trying to figure out where I got this problem from. Oh, I actually copied this problem from the book wrong, but it works. So you get plus 26 over x minus 3. Let's try another one. That was, a, that was kind of a simpler one because you had a trinomial, not a four-term polynomial. Let's try another one here. This one has some serious issues. We're dividing this by this. When we go to put it under our division bar, we have an x cubed, but we don't have any x squared. So you can't just put it x cubed minus 4, you have to put holders for all the missing terms between x cubed to negative 4. So you need to put a holder for the x squared, a holder for the x's, and then finally you can put your minus 4. You have to do this so that when you do your multiplication, everybody has someone to line up under. So this is x minus 3 out here. 0x squared is the same as not having any x squared, so this is really the same as this binomial. So we start all over. What times x gives me x cubed? That's going to be x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. We do this times this, and then this times this, minus 3x squared. Change your signs and add, so you get 3x squared plus 0x. Bring that down even though it's 0x and we start all over. What times x is 3x squared? Well, 3x times x gives me 3x squared. So we also have to take the 3x times the negative 3 and we get negative 9x. See how why we need these zeros? We need the place for these to line up. So change your signs and add. We get 9x minus 4. What times x is 9x? That would be plus 9. 9x minus 27. Change your sign. And add. You get 23 over x minus 3. I'm going to skip these, this you try problem because I skipped one in your lesson. So, let me just erase all that. There we go. Let's just do one more example. After I set it up, 
then you can try it yourself. This would be a sample six, I do believe. This one is it's similar to that one that you did by yourself last time. So let me find a better one. Let's see. Um, this is one from your practice problems. It is 3x cubed minus 5x plus 4 divided by, sometimes we'll put divided by x minus 4. You might also see something like this, x cubed minus 5 divided by x minus 2. This still means divided by, and you would do the same thing. Note, on this one, you would have to put 0x squared plus 0x. So let's do this one. After I get it set up, I want you to try it. So you see we're missing the x squared term. So we get 3x cubed plus, we don't have any x squareds, but we need a placeholder for them, for it, minus 5x plus 5, for so once the divisor is in order. So I set it up for you. Four. Go ahead, turn the video off and try it, pause it, and then come back and see if you got it right. Alright, let's see if you got it right. x times 3x squared, this times this equals this, so that's right. Then we take 3x squared times negative 4, we get negative 12x squared. Negative, positive, add 12x squared, bring down your negative 5x. What times x gives me 12x squared? Well, that would be plus 12x. 12x times x is 12x squared. Include the negative 4. 12 times negative 4 would be negative 48x. Change your signs and add 43x. Ooh, it's getting big. Plus 5. Now we're going to need a plus 43. Because 43 times x is 43x, and it looks like I win on my calculator here right now. Hold on a second. So we get 43 times 4, negative 4, is negative 172. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake on this. Negative, positive, and it's going to be 177. So we write plus 177 over the divisor x minus 4. So hopefully you got that right. If I made a mistake in this, email me and let me know. Alrighty, that's it for lesson 86.